Welcome to www.minitvstick.com. Please do subscribe if you're looking for other information about mini TV sticks. If you haven't seen my first video, um, there is a part one to this video, which is a review of the CR9 mini TV stick from CloudNet. So in my last video, I said I'd try out a couple of webcams and also various peripherals to see how they perform on the CR9. I'd really appreciate it if you liked this video as well, if you found it useful. So I might as well let you know early that the testing didn't go as well as I expected. So with that in mind, I decided to film a few other things that you might be interested in. So stick around if you're interested in playing games on your Android mini TV stick, or if you want to share media that's running on your phone or your Android tablet onto the TV, or even if you want to try and control your mini TV stick from another Android device using software such as the RK remote control. I'll be showing you how it performs or in some cases not perform with the CR9. Let me show you the results from my test with Skype first. I'm going to show you the results of you using the Microsoft LifeCam Cinema camera with the CR9 from CloudNet. So first of all, I tried to dial the sound test service. As soon as it picked up, the call drops. For that, I tried to call up another Skype user, which is just an instance of Skype that's running on my Android phone. And as you can see, the result's pretty similar. It just drops as soon as I pick up the call. I was really surprised that this was the behavior given the stability of the stick so far. So I decided to try it a few more times. And as you can see, the result was the same. I'm not gonna bore you too much with the results from the Logitech camera because the results are the same. The call just drops as soon as somebody picks up. So as you can see here, I'm trying to call my mini TV stick from Google Hangout. I've got Google Hangout running on an Android phone. And as soon as I call it, the mini TV stick does know it's being called. But as soon as I pick up, it's similar to Skype. The call just drops. Again, I'm not gonna bore you with showing you this behavior on both the cameras because the behavior is the same on the Microsoft Live Cam Cinema and the C270 Logitech camera. So with the surprising results, I decided to download a couple of camera-only applications. And as you can see here, to my surprise, the camera worked. So it didn't really make sense. How come this application could see the camera, whereas Skype and Google Hangout didn't seem to allow me to do calls? I downloaded a sound meter application and then found that the stick didn't seem to pick up any kind of sound. So I'm not sure what's really happening, but from initial investigations, it looks like perhaps the software just is isn't able to pick up the mic on the two cameras. As you can see here, both cameras have mics. Anyway, that's enough with the camera and Skype and Google Hangout. Just wanna show you now some applications that I tried are designed to allow you to share media from your phone or your other Android devices onto the TV. After this, I'll be showing you a remote control application called the RK Remote Control, which you can use to control the stick, kind of like the Air Remote that I use. And it's also designed to be able to be used as a gamepad. I had some issues with it, which I'll show you later. First thing I want to say about media sharing with the CR9 is that out of the box, it's supposed to support Miracast. Miracast is a new feature from Jellybean 4.2.2. Unfortunately, I don't have a 4.2.2 Jellybean Android phone, so I haven't been able to test this. So I'm actually using a HTC One. And the first thing I tried was the HTC Media Link HD application. And just to get that one out of the way, that doesn't work. In fact, I'm not even sure if it uses the LNA. Next is the free version of the Play2 Lite application. Also, that didn't work. At least the free version didn't work. So I'm sure there are lots more of these types of applications. And given some time, I could probably work out how to get the video to share even on the previous two. But I decided only to try one more. The last one I tried was Twonky Beam. Now with this one, there is a main application for Twonky Beam. But what I also found was that it was integrated in into the sharing function on my YouTube application. So once I decided to share a video, it then gave me the application to email it or in fact beam it to my large screen TV from YouTube. YouTube. As you can see, this works. The video suddenly appears on my large screen TV. And from here, from my phone, I can now also pause the video or continue to play it. Saying that though, it, it was a little jerky and I also found the controls to be slow at times. So it seemed like quite a pointless exercise actually, at least in the context of somebody using this for, for, for themselves. Maybe it'd make more sense in a situation where maybe you're at a party and there's several people and you want to share media whilst with the group. And I believe that's what it's been designed for. Right, so the last thing I want to show you is the attempts I had at trying to play games on the CR9 using various controllers using two controllers. The first one is my PlayStation 3 controller and as you can see here I can use the controller to get around the menu and do basic operations. So this is probably suitable if you just want to use it to start applications or watch XBMC. From some other YouTube videos I've also seen that you can play specific games with this but just to set the expectations it seems as if it doesn't work with every single game. I also looked for a uh, adapter of some sort 
or some kind of application to make this work. So there is an application called Six Axis that seems to be quite well regarded. However, when I tried the compatibility test for Six Axis, it showed that this particular stick was not going to work. The other thing I tried was the RK remote control. This application looks really promising to me, but it was just massively confusing. One of the things I've been spending too much time doing recently is playing Minecraft, and I would have loved to have played Minecraft on the mini TV stick. But as you can see here, the control scheme is just doesn't work. I have no idea how the controls on the phone map to the ones on the screen. It just doesn't work. If somebody has worked out how this works, it would be great. I'd be more than willing to post another video to show that it does work. But until then, it just doesn't work for me. The RK remote control application also has a separate function where you can move the mouse around, use it like a TV remote control. Now this works, but there are drawbacks to it as well. You'll find that it actually uses the bandwidth on the Wi-Fi, which means that when you're moving the mouse around, your video starts to stutter. So this seems to be a fundamental design flaw. Additionally, when there's contention for bandwidth on the stick, you'll find that the movement on the mouse is jerky. So in my case, I would definitely stick with the RC11 or similar remote control if you have one. I think you could probably use this as well, but I would only use it as an emergency replacement. Right, so we come to the end of the video and uh, part two of the CR9, I guess, review. Um, and it is a lot of things haven't worked in this video, but I have noticed on the Freak Tab website, there is another ROM for this stick. So if I get some more time, I will load that ROM and see if any of these things change. So there has been a new ROM that's been created by Neo Mode. I, I do know that one of the distributors for CloudNet are in Germany. So I imagine some kind of ROM will come out of some of the guys in Germany who are using the stick more. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Mini TV.